The perfect monitor for creatives doesn't exist. Or does it? Hey everyone, ever since my OG LG ultrawide monitor broke down, I've been looking for a new monitor that would fit into my workflow. And there's just always something missing on a good monitor that I'm looking at. Either it's missing USB-C, um, ugly design, or just straight up too expensive. Fast forward to two weeks ago, I was on Dell's website, only to find out that they came out with a new U2272DE UltraShot monitor. And after a long research, I think I might have found it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. The perfect monitor. So when I'm looking for a new monitor, there are two categories of features that I look into. There's the essential, AKA the must have, and the optional, AKA the good to have. So what is essential to me? Number one, 90 watt charging. Ever since the USB-C MacBook Pro came out and supported displaying a signal while charging at the same time, I've been obsessed with this one cable does it all setup. But there's one big problem. Most of the implementation of this two-in-one displaying and charging through USB-C technology only supported 45 to 60 watt of charging. And since I use the 16 inch MacBook Pro, 60 watt simply isn't enough. When I'm doing heavier tasks like editing a video with these older monitors, it will simply drain my battery and I ended up having to plug in a charger anyway, defeating the purpose of having just one cable. But guess what? This new Dell monitor supports 90 watt charging through USB-C, so I can truly achieve this one cable setup and my MacBook charger can finally stay in my backpack or the cabinet behind. So the second essential thing I think not only applies to me as a creative, but just general users. It's great resolution, color, and size. My ideal monitor needs to have at least a QHD resolution at 1440p and also a 27 inch display size for maximum productivity. Also as a creative who does a lot of video and photo work on the monitor, color accuracy is also extremely important. Dell is famous for its color accuracy for professionals, and this monitor is no exception. The third and last essential feature of the perfect monitor is a little bit more controversial, and that is appearance. Ever since I saw the Dell XPS 13 in 2015, I told myself, my next monitor better has the same thin, beautiful bezel. And sure enough, so many years later, Thin bezel is pretty much a standard for new monitors, but Dell still has the cleanest design in my opinion, especially the minimalistic design from the front. They even removed the Dell logo from the bottom bezel. So clean. I'm also very picky about the monitor stand and I hate those cheap looking black glossy plastic rounded monitor stand that comes with some other monitors. This Dell monitor stand is great, not the best looking ever, but it is a metal built stand with a great range of height adjustment, saving the hassle of me getting a monitor arm. If anything, I wish the stand is turnable. It is a feature on some older Ultrashock monitors, but they took it away for some reason. Another small thing is the cable through hole is a little bit too low for my liking, exposing the cables when the monitor is high up. I just wish the hole is a little bit higher up hiding behind a monitor. Okay, now moving on to the optional, AKA the good to have on this monitor. Number one is the USB hub. This thing is packed with ports. Three USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, 3.5 millimeter audio jack out, one more USB and USB type C port at the bottom of the monitor for easy access. Now I can plug in my drives and card readers without reaching for the back. And from a testing, a single USB-C out to the MacBook Pro has enough bandwidth to handle all the data, right? Technologies, man. The second good to have is daisy chain capability. This monitor can daisy chain to another monitor. Meaning not only can you connect this monitor with all your USB accessories plugged in all through a single USB-C cable to your computer, but you can also connect another monitor through this monitor, through the same cable. I don't currently need that much real estate, but when I do, this will be such a handy feature to have. The next good to have is an ethernet port. If for some reason you don't have access to Wi-Fi or simply want a more stable connection to the internet, you have an ethernet cable 
also through the same USB cable. Also, I've been recently getting into network attached storage and having this ethernet cable allows me to plug my NAS straight into the computer. On to pricing, don't get me wrong, this monitor is not a cheap monitor at all. But consider all the features that it packs with and the Ultrashop monitor being the top of the line series from Dell. I think this Dell U2272DE monitor is a very reasonable purchase and I highly recommend it. So in conclusion, this monitor is packed with all the features that I ever need, plus a few extra good to haves. I'm so glad that I found this monitor. And as I said, it's not a cheap monitor by any means, but it's a great investment for something that I stare at 10 to 12 hours a day. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe everyone. I'll see you very soon. Peace.